Okay, I show you today my external heating box. From this side everything is normal. But now we go to the other side. And what you can see is there's an external heating system. Let's look a bit from the distance. One tube is going, it's cycling the air with some fresh air supply in this middle side. Cold air is going into the box on this side and uh, the heated air is on this side. The box has an internal burner. It burns petrol, also uh, diesel in German. And here you have the Akku, which is necessary to heat it, uh, to start the, and to keep the machine running. Inside, I open it for you. You have a tank, five liter, which will last for about 40 hours running completely. And uh, the, you hear the pump. It is running now on lowest temperature. It's already 26 degrees inside. Now the noise is outside, is okay. And if you go inside, we can listen. I show you first inside. This is a tube coming in with the warm air. It goes on the front part of the car. Uh, this area there normally on the bottom is quite wet in winter. So if it's cold outside, it could also be so you dry it on this area in the front part. And then the heat is inside distributed. You see here is a sleeping area in the Subaru Forester. I built it inside, very reasonable, in only a few minutes it's set up. And this is the air tube going, with the air sucking and going out to the heater. And now you see this strange construct here. This is a muffler. It reduces dramatically the noise of the engine. It is absolutely required, because if you don't have it, it sounds like this. Please listen to the difference. I take it away now. Can you hear the noise? If you put it in, it is not... You don't hear it anymore. And the same is on the other side. So both sides need a muffler to keep the noise away from the engine inside of the car. It's otherwise hard to sleep. But with this trick, with these two mufflers, it is amazing. There's still enough place to sleep under it. And this I think very, very com comfortable, this solution. And uh, yeah, and then now you have a heating everywhere you go, even in two or two thousand meter high. It works even up to three thousand five hundred meters. This uh, burner. So let's take a let's close the door. Full screen of the car of the Subaru Forester and the heating installed on this side. The frame here in the upper part, I made myself from five millimeter polyethylene board, cut the holes in it, and then installed some aluminum profiles. And then the glass sliding up and going directly into this slot. And then the whole thing is 
closed. On the this is the exhaust pipe. Here it's very hot, where the hot air from the burner comes out. And this is the ventilation, the Zuluft, so the air supply. Of course, these burning gases, they are of course kept away from the tubing with the, with the air circulation to prevent any kohlen monoxide or kohlen dioxide intoxication. So that's the reason why I kept these two tubes really separated and even placed the suction tube here with the fresh air inside of the car to prevent the cross-contamination from uh, the exhaust coming out of the box. This is now absolutely prevented by this uh, sort of construct. Thank you for your attention.